Here are 28 easter eggs from Tom Scott's newest video. In the first shot where Tom's talking about the remaster of All Star by Smash Mouth, you can see if you look very closely that Tom is in fact subscribed to Smash Mouth and has hit the bell for notifications. He's a dedicated fan. The file that's used to remaster All Star is called All Star underscore HD underscore final underscore version 2 underscore final to MP4. And if you look at the comments, there's one from Swamp Dweller 01, which is a reference to All Star being used in Shrek. Jake Peralta says, I'm getting high school flashbacks, which is a reference to All Star being used in Brooklyn Nine Nine. We've got the inevitable first comments from someone called Definitely Not First. And Pencilhead64 says, I wish I could erase this whole video. Pencilhead was a character from Mystery Men, which is a film that is linked with the All Star music video. Later on, when we see Freddie Mercury's Living On My Own on a old 80s television set, the TV is tuned into WTV, which is obviously a take on MTV. And Living On My Own, it turns out, is not just by Freddie Mercury, but Freddie Mercury featuring Tom Scott. I was arrogant enough to name the TV set after myself, so it's by a company called Marla Vision. There's my logo on the TV as well. If you look at the dials, the top one is set to A1 and the bottom one is set to 13. A113 is a code that is hidden in lots of animated films. Whereas most people might use computer programs to compress their footage, Tom has an entire studio called The Compressor. Now, obviously I couldn't use the actual Rock and Roll Circus poster from the Rolling Stones in the video, but that means I can have a really fun time recreating it. So instead of the Dirty Mac, you've got the Big Mac. Instead of the Who, you've got Doctor Who. Flying Trapeze is Flying Tardis. Instead of Yoko Ono, you've got Yoke O Ono, which is a ridiculously niche reference to Carl Pilkington's Rockbusters. Instead of Taj Mahal, you've got Blue Raja, which is a character from Mystery Men. Marianne Faithful is now Marie Antoinette. Jethro Tull is now £1.60 Tull. And Lovely Luna and the Fire Eater is now Luna Lovegood and the Fire Eater. And also you can see that it says, coming to a remastered YouTube video near you. And finally, of course, my logo at the bottom. The treasure map has two islands on it, one called Archive Island, where the Wham footage was found, and the other, the Uncanny Valley, which refers to things that look human, but not quite human enough, and look really creepy. The riddle underneath Tom's photo reads, If it's the reels of Wham that you seek, you must first cross Compressions Creek. Count the islands one, two, three, four, and the film will be restored once more. Which explains why I never got a callback from Pirates of the Caribbean 5. When the reels of Last Christmas are imported to the video editor, what is it actually doing? It's upscaling footage, making the snow extra pretty, sharpening, adding volume to George Michael's quiff, interpolating frames, calculating additional YouTube revenue, reticulating splines, inserting jokes into crackers, finalizing, and more snow for good luck. The date of the footage itself is actually quite significant because the song was recorded in August 1984 and the video was filmed in November 1984. In the previous VFX video that I made for Tom, we found out that Studio 4 is the studio where Tom can quickly change his backgrounds. Here, Studio 3 is where he can bring in these metallic panels. And of course, we've got the compressor from earlier. Now we just need to know what Studios 1 and 2 are for. Here is my recreation of the opening moments of Bohemian Rhapsody. And when we see it playing on YouTube, again, Tom is subscribed with notifications to Queen. And if you look at the comments, there's one from Mr. Fahrenheit, which is obviously a reference to Freddie Mercury with his signature catchphrase. And that Mr. Robot says, that guy playing piano looks familiar. Of course, Mr. Robot was played by Rami Malek, who played Freddie Mercury in the Bohemian Rhapsody biopic. And my comment doesn't even fit. On the notice board, you can see that I recreated a ticket for the Live Aid concert. WTV has its own news blog with an article by Milliam Waller. I was actually able to find his profile photo. And then this is what the article says. I'll let you read it on your own. And here are the related articles. When the article changes, it's by a conspiracy style website called The Brotherhood, which is my attempt to look really clever by referencing George Orwell's 1984. And the article is by Winston Smith, which is the main character in 1984. And it's published at 1300 hours, which is a reference to the very first line of that book. Here is what the article says. And here are the related articles. When Tom's little gadget is trying to analyze what the lead singer of Smash Math looks like, it goes through a couple of options. Media Man, Sharpest Tool, Shooting Star, Shrek, Steve Hartwell, 
Demon Child, and then back to Media Man. When Tom gets more and more frustrated analysing the problems of the All Star music video, we get the blue screen of death, but it's obviously not the normal blue screen of death. This is what it actually says. And finally, this is my cameo playing a VFX technician, which is meta even for a Tom Scott video. So that is 28 Easter eggs from Tom Scott's video. Are there any that I missed? Obviously not, because I put them all there.